Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you subscribe and like this video because it really does help out our channel. And it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So today we'll be looking at static equilibrium here. And we're gonna be solving the problem shown on the screen. So with this problem, we have two ropes that are tied together at point C. If the maximum tension force in each rope is 2.5 kilonewtons for AC and AB, what is the maximum force F have to be in order to make these uh, ropes have a tension of 2.5 kilonewtons? And it is also asking, what is this angle alpha, which is what direction is this force F acting in? So with all equilibrium problems, a good, starting, a good starting point would always to be to draw a free body diagram. So let's go ahead and we're gonna draw that here with an XY coordinate system. And the origin of our coordinate system of our free body diagram, which I probably should label that free body diagram, is gonna be where all the forces collide or act on a single point. And that point is right here at point C. <clears throat> so with this, I am going to assume that this force F, which is applied, we don't know what it is yet. That's what we're tasked with finding with. And I'm gonna assume that angle alpha right now is between zero and 90 degrees. So we're between the X and Y axis there in the first quadrant. And if we're wrong, we'll, we'll calculate that out. But for right now, I'm just going to assume it's like this. It could be over here on this left side as well, but we'll get there. So let's go ahead and apply our known cable uh, tension forces and their direction. So let's apply FAC, which has to be in tension. So it has to be pulling back away from this force F. And we were told that each of these tension forces in this in these cables is 2.5 kilonewtons. So 2.5 kilonewtons of force. And it is 20 degrees off the horizontal. So that means it is 20 degrees off the x-axis. And then secondly, we have FBC. Once again, it has to be pulling back towards the support because it is in tension. So FBC. And it's the same value as FAC as 2.5 kilonewtons of force. And it is 50 degrees off the horizontal, which means that it is 50 degrees off the x-axis here. So this is my free body diagram. And from this, it just seems that I have my force F I have to determine and my alpha force I have to determine. So I have two unknowns that I have to find using this free body diagram. So with equilibrium problems, what you're gonna to have to most likely do is that you are going to have to sum forces in the X and Y direction, and the forces in each of those directions have to sum to be zero because they have to cancel due to being in equilibrium. So whenever you're kind of stuck and you don't know where to go to next, this is always a good point, a good starting point to work with. So let's go ahead and let's write out these equations, see what we can find, see what we can't find. So the first one I'm gonna start with is summing forces in the y direction. I'm gonna take all my upward forces as positive, everything in the downward direction is negative. And of course they all have to cancel with each other to be zero. So all the forces that I have here on my free body diagram are going to have components in the x and the y directions. So starting with my force F, my unknown force, the way I have it shown on my free body diagram, it is up and to the right. So my components will be up and they will be to the right in the Y and X directions. Looking at the force FAC, it is down and to the left. So my components, oh, didn't mean to do that. My components, will be down and to the left. And then for FBC, since it is down and to the right, my components will be down and to the right. So this will help us determine positive and negative directions for each of the components of these main forces. So let's start with our unknown one, our force F. So it's gonna be my force F and I'm in the y direction, and my angle is off of the x-axis here. 
So my y-axis will be opposite that angle. And anytime you're dealing with the opposite, it is sine of that angle. You always want to use sine of the angle in your equilibrium equations when that angle is being measured off the opposite axis. It is going in the upward direction, so it is positive F sine of alpha. Moving over to FAC, its component is in the downward direction, so that it will be minus 2.5 kilonewtons of force. And the angle is off of the x-axis, so once again, this will be sine of 20 degrees. Then moving on to FBC, its component will be down, so it will be minus 2.5 kilonewtons of force. And then we have to convert it into that component in the y direction. And once again, the angle is off of the opposite axis, which is the x. We're looking at the y. So that will be sine of 50 degrees. And that's all I have for my y axis or my y direction here. So all of those have to cancel to be 0. Well, looking at this particular equation here of Fy, can't really solve for anything just yet because we have an F unknown and an alpha unknown. We have two unknowns per one equation. Mm. Well, can't really solve for that. So what do we do? Well, we don't really give up. We keep going because, well, we have another equilibrium equation to use, the F of X. So let's write the F of X and see if we can solve for anything. So with the f of x equation, I'm going to take everything to the right as a positive number. Everything to the left is negative. So once again, let's just combine terms here or keep terms aligned. So we'll start with f again. Well, f's x component or its horizontal component is to the right. So it will be positive f. And the angle that I have shown here, alpha is off of the x-axis. So it's adjacent, which is cosine alpha. Then moving over to FAC, its component is in the negative direction. It's pointed left, so it'll be minus 2.5 kilonewtons. And this will be cosine of 20 degrees because the angle is off of the X. And anytime you're off that direction, you're looking at that is cosine for adjacent. And then we have FBC. Its component is pointed to the right, so that will be positive 2.5 kilonewtons times the cosine of 50, because once again, the angle is off of the x direction. So that will be cosine when I'm looking at the x direction. And that's all I have equal to zero. So looking at the x equation, once again, can't solve it just by itself. But what I can use is the fy and the fx equations together to solve for my two unknowns in each equation. So I really don't need this free body diagram anymore since I've translated everything into my equilibrium equations of fx and fy. So the way you solve for two equations with two unknowns is that we're just going to put one of the unknowns in terms of the other and plug it back into the opposite equation. So let's look at the fy equation first. So from the fy equation. I'm going to take the negative 2.5 kilonewton sine of 20 and the 2.5 kilonewtons of sine of 50, and I'm going to move them to the opposite side of the equation, leaving F sine of alpha over here by itself. So we have F sine of alpha is equal to a positive 2.5 times the sine of 20 plus 2.5 sine of 50. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get F is equal to some equation, and then we'll take that equation and plug it into the X. So let's solve this in terms of alpha for F. So F sine of alpha, if we combine these two right here of 2.5 sine of 20 plus 2.5 uh, sines of 50, that will give us 2.77. And then F will just equal 2.77 divided by the sine of alpha. So with this information, what I'm going to do, since I used the y equation, I am going to take this value right here of f, and I'm going to plug it in for f in the x equation. 
So plug into the x equation, this is what I get. I get my f, which is essentially 2.77. That's supposed to be a seven. That's a very, very ugly seven. <laughs> Divided by the sine of alpha times the cosine of alpha. And then the, re the rest remains the same for the x. So 2.5 cosines of 20 plus 2.5 cosines of 50 equal to zero. So let's simplify this down a little bit. So this first portion is going to be 2.77 cosine of alpha divided by the sine of alpha. And the remainder here of 2.5 cosines of 20 plus 2.5 um, cosines of 50, if I put those together and then take them to the opposite side of the equation, I get 0 0.742. Now, how do I get rid of this? Because I want just one term of alpha, not two. Well, you can use some trig identification here where the cosine of alpha divided by the sine of alpha is one over the tangent of your variable. So let's substitute this trig identity in here and we will have 2.77 divided by the tangent of alpha is equal to 0 0.742. Okay, well, this made this a little bit easier to solve now because we just have one term of alpha here. So we will have the tangent of alpha is equal to 2.77 over 0 0.742. Shoot, scroll up. So then alpha will just be the tangent inverse of that. And the resulting number comes out to be roughly 75 degrees. So I have found my angle. And before I go and plug back in to find what my variable F is, I'm just going to make sure that my free body diagram is still correct. Because remember, I didn't know what this angle alpha was. I just assumed that it was somewhere between 0 and 90 degrees. Well, it is exactly 75 degrees, so I am still OK with this free body diagram being in this direction. The only thing that would change is that if it was larger than 90 degrees, my x component of my f would be pointed to the left if it was in this quadrant. It'd be up and to the left. So my x direction would actually be negative then. But it is up and to the right because it is at 75 degrees. So I really don't have to change my equilibrium equations, which means I don't have to change my values here. So with the angle, what we can do is plug back in and we can get our f value. So we're gonna take this 75 degrees for alpha, and we are going to plug back into this F equation up here. So in doing so, we have F equals 2.77 over the sine of 75 degrees. And this gives me a value of 2.86 kilonewtons of force in that general upright direction. And those are my two answers. Now, as always with equilibrium problems, there is a way to check. You just take your two answers that you have for your unknowns that you found and plug them back into your original FY or your original FX equations and see if you get zero or very close to zero. Now, in most cases, the equations of FX and FY won't come out to be exactly zero because of rounding, but you should be pretty close. So let's go back here and let's check this out. So it looks like I'm going to check with the fx direction here. So I have my f force, which is 2.86 kilonewtons, times the cosine of alpha, which is 75 degrees, and then minus the 2.5 cosine of 20 for my force AC, and then plus 2.5 cosines of 50 degrees for FBC, and that in fact does come out to be zero. 
So with my check working out, I can safely assume that I have done the problem correctly because typically if the check doesn't work out, that means something went wrong somewhere. So either your free body diagram is incorrect, your equilibrium equations are incorrect, or you just messed up the math throughout the problem. But my equations checked out, and this is how you solve this particular problem. So I hope you, uh, I hope this video was very helpful for you. And if you want to see more problems solved of this variety, please check out the other videos we have on our channel as we are continuously uploading. Also, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you leave this video a like and you subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.